George, if you will. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten celebrity twins. Dad? Mom? <laughs> that girl has my face! I love this hotel! For this list, we're looking at siblings born moments apart who are both well-known celebrities. You may leave twin comments below, but please make sure they aren't the identical kind. Number 10, Max and Charlie Carver. I thought you guys were gonna teach me to roar. We are, you do it by giving in. Giving in and letting go, that's how Deucalion taught us control. On July 31st, 1988, Charlie Carver was born an only child. Then, seven minutes later on August 1st, his twin brother Max was born. The brothers took slightly different academic paths, but they both grew up to be actors. And whilst they have worked separately, they have also often played twin siblings on screen. It's coming from the basement. They got their start in Hollywood playing twin brothers Preston and Porter Scarvo on Desperate Housewives. Teen Wolf fans will know them as twin werewolves Aiden and Ethan Steiner, and in season one of HBO's The Leftovers, they played Adam and Scott Frost. Yo, ladies, wanna get stoned and play some ping pong? Number nine, Brie and Nikki Bella. WWE fans will know these two as the Bella Twins. The twins found success in the ring as a tag team, and they found even more success as individual champions, with Nikki holding the record for the longest reigning diva champion in history. The identical beauties were also part of the group of women that raised the presence and popularity of female wrestlers, which led to what has been called the women's revolution in the sport. Being a female wrestler and growing up in that industry is just such an honor. It makes me so proud to know that her story is being told. Such an incredible movie. Even if you don't watch wrestling, you might still know the twins from their E! reality show, Total Bellas, which has been following their lives since 2016. Nicole, how could you not tell me about this? Number 8, Jonathan and Drew Scott. Welcome to your new home. To their friends and family, they are known as Jonathan and Drew Scott. But to the rest of us, they are and will always be the Property Brothers. It may be an end to the renovation, but it's really a start to their new life. As they were so dubbed on the show, that made them stars. Since that reality series started airing back in 2011, the twin bros have gone on to rule the HGTV airways with a whole host of renovation, reality, and home buying shows. It's not just Jonathan and me, day in and day out, working, helping families. It takes a big crew, it takes a village to make this oh, happen. Oh, I thought you were gonna say it because you're never here, so it's just me. These HGTV hunks have also created their own line of home furnishings and accessories called Scott Living. When it comes to their personal life, Drew is married and Jonathan has been dating new girl actress Zoe Deschanel since 2019. Number 7, Sean and Aaron Ashmore. Did this happen to you? You were a fan of the show The Following and were sad that it ended in 2015 after just three seasons. By all means, if I've got it wrong, please correct me. Then, later that same year, you started watching the sci-fi show Killjoys and were psyched to see the actor who played Mike Weston in the following in a new show. Oh, I get it. Well, the truth is, you didn't. You see, while Mike Weston was played by Canadian actor Sean Ashmore, the guy you watched for four years on Killjoys was his identical twin brother, Aaron. More recently, Aaron has done a few TV projects, and you can see Sean these days in recurring roles as defense lawyer Wesley Evers in The Rookie. What if instead of proposal vacation, we have an engagement vacation? Number six, Benji and Joel Madden. I don't ever wanna, I don't ever wanna be you. Don't wanna be just like you. In the mid-90s, these twin brothers formed the rock band Good Charlotte, named after the children's book Good Charlotte, Girls of the Good Day Orphanage by Carol Beach York. The band released their debut album in 2000, but it was their 2002 sophomore effort that set them on the path of fame and fortune, ironically thanks to the hit single Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. While the band is still together, the brothers aren't just rock stars anymore. They've gone from good Charlotte to good husbands and good fathers. Joel married Nicole Ritchie in 2010 and they have two kids. Meanwhile, Benji married Cameron Diaz in 2015 and they welcomed their daughter into their lives in December of 2019.
Number five, Robin and Maurice Gibb. You can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a woman's man. Robin and Maurice are two of the three-part harmonies that were the Bee Gees, the third part being their older brother, Barry. The band found some success before 1977, but that was the year that changed everything. With the release of the film Saturday Night Fever and the Bee Gees accompanying soundtrack, history was made. music defined a disco generation, and the album went on to become the best-selling soundtrack ever, at the time. It now sits in second place behind 1992's The Bodyguard. And I... In 2003, Maurice died from complications from a twisted intestine. Robin suffered from numerous health issues in his final years and passed away in 2012 from kidney failure. Number four, James and Oliver Phelps. In 2000, the Phelps brothers skipped school to attend an open audition that would change their lives. The 14-year-old twins weren't professional actors. In fact, they had no acting experience at all at that point. But that first audition got them a callback and about six auditions later, they were cast as Fred and George Weasley in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Fred, you next. He's not Fred, I am. Honestly, woman, you call yourself our mother. Oh, I'm sorry, George. The movie and the entire series of films became a worldwide phenomenon and made the Phelps boys recognisable stars. The brothers made an appearance in the TV show Kingdom and have had other roles since the last Harry Potter movie. But to millions of fans around the world, they will always be Fred and George Weasley. I'm only joking. I am Fred. Number three, Tia and Tamira Mori. In the mid-90s, Tia and Tamira were two of the most popular twins on television when they starred alongside each other on the sitcom Sister Sister. This is just like the Twilight Zone. <laughs> you watch the Twilight Zone? In the mid-2000s, they came together again to star in Twitches and Twitches 2 on the Disney Channel. Why do you look like me? <gasps> I don't know, but isn't it cool? No! The Star Network capitalised on the popularity of the Murray sisters and gave them their own reality show called Tia and Tamira, which ran from 2000 2011 to 2013. And the sisters haven't stopped working. Tamira was a co host on The Real for seven years and most recently appeared on season five of The Masked Singer. While Tia can currently be seen in Family Reunion on Netflix. So that you can get a good job and eventually your own place. Yeah, somebody's got to break the cycle. Number two, Dylan and Cole Sprouse. The Sprouse twins have been acting pretty much since birth. Okay, so that's a slight exaggeration, but not as much as you might think. At just eight months old, the brothers were cast in Grace Under Fire, playing one baby. They shared a role again in 1999 in the Adam Sandler hit Big Daddy. I'm scared. Can you do it too? In 2000, Cole, without Dylan, started playing Ross's son, Ben, on Friends, but they came back together for their most famous roles in 2005. That is when Disney premiered The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. If I guess your name, do I win a kiss? Aw, oh, you're so adorable! It's so completely out of your league. <laughs> Smooth! The show made them famous and rich, and by the end of the 2000s, they were the richest teenage twins in the world. While both have continued to act, Cole is more well known on screen these days due to his betrayal of Jughead Jones. In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Jenna and Barbara Bush. The only twins who can say their grandfather and father were both American presidents. And when you're twins, everyone compares you because you must be the opposite of each other, which we're not. And so... When I was 16, I went away to school in Rome and lived my own life without my sissy. Lisa and Jessica Origliasso. These Aussie twins are named their band, the Veronicas, after a line from the film Heathers. Cynthia and Brittany Daniel. You probably know them as Elizabeth and Jessica Wakefield from Sweet Valley High. Elizabeth Wakefield. 
for Princess Jessica Wakefield. Bill and Tom Kalitz. These twins are two of the founding members of the German rock band Tokyo Hotel. Tegan and Sarah Quinn. These identical twins make up the Canadian indie pop duo Tegan and Sarah. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen Perfect. Perfect. Was it really going to be anyone else? No way, Jose. When it comes to celebrity twins, there is no more iconic duo than Mary-Kate and Ashley. And that is saying a lot considering that the last time either one of them was acting on screen was Mary-Kate's turn as Kendra in the 2011 film Beastly. Oh, and might I just add, wow. Looks are important to you. But the sisters, who weren't even one year old when they began playing cute little Michelle Tanner on Full House, parlayed that stardom into a mega brand. Please don't ever leave me again. I won't. I promise. Uh, we're supposed to hug now. Why doesn't that surprise me? And by 2007, Forbes ranked them as the 11th richest women in entertainment, with a combined worth of over $100 million, after venturing into other avenues like fashion. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.